Howdy folks, today I want to show you how to build a um, dynamic menu on Openbox on Debian with icons. You can see all the icons here, they're automatically loaded and all the menu items are automatically loaded too. So anytime you install a new program, it will show up automatically in this menu. Instead of having to build your menu manually like this is. Uh, my operating system here is Debian. It's built on CrunchBang um, and it's actually built on the Waldorf development which is their uh, Debian testing that they're playing around with. So one of the first things we need to do is go to Google type in openbox-menu and you'll see about six entries down um, it's a French website. It, it ends in FR, but uh, this is what it should show up as, and it will show up in English for you. Um, you can see he has it in French. But the big thing we want off of this website is his download on Google Code. So in Google Code, his downloads has open box menu at the top. This is the one that we have. He normally builds stuff for Arch Linux, but this will work fine for Debian. So we'll take that and we'll download it. And we'll have it. And then you extract it either with the command line with tar, or if you have a right click entry like I do in my menus to extract things. So we go to where we extracted it we can open up the make file and it gives us our dependencies which is glib2 gtk plus 2 and libmenu cache so that's what we need to install these so if we go into the debian repositories these are the five items that we need we need libmenu cache glib2 gtk2 LX menu data, which will actually give us our icons and help build the menu for us, and menu XDG, which uh, is another program for building the menus. As you can see, the top three items have development tail on the end. Uh, these are the actual ones that you need. If you try to just install the GTK2, uh, you'll end up getting errors on the build. So we go back to our folder where we extracted the open box menu. Uh, open up a terminal and you're going to, as user, you're going to do make and it will run through and do a make for you. And then as a super user, I use sudo. Um, you can just use su and the password you, you should know. And then we do sudo make oops, make install. So we do that, and that will take this open box menu and it will put it into user bin. And you can see it should be down here. Where are we here? Openbox menu. There we go. So it installs there. So Openbox menu, when it's when our menu is running this program, it actually parses. It goes into etc. XDG right here and menus. And you'll see the I have LXD applications menu and XSC applications menu. If you install uh, a KDE uh, menu or a no menu, it will also show up in here and you can actually use them too and it'll build it for their icons. Um, but I'm using the LXD menu, it gives me acceptable icons, they all look nice and it's all still GTK. All right. So we have these, we had them all installed, we did our um, 
our make and make install. So the next thing we need to do is open up our actual menu file in OpenBox and add a line to it. So we're going to go into our home folder, .config. We're going to go into OpenBox, and there's our menu.xml. Open that with our favorite text editor. Um, I use Genie because it uh, gives color coding and just looks nice, and I'm used to it now. So, And you can see I've added a line, this line that I have here. I've added it into Genie. Um, you can place it wherever you like. So if I take this and copy it and yeah, let's put it above my text editor. If we do that and then we do open box dash dash reconfigure, you should see I have Better save it first. Reconfigure. And now I have another applications menu above my text editor menu. So I don't need that. So just to put that anywhere that you like, and you'll see that it will open up, and you'll see that it is pointing to the user bin open box menu. And it is telling that to open up the LXD applications menu in the etc. XDG. And the label here shows applications, which is this label right here, applications. And then it tells, it's telling it desktop app menu and it, to build the menu behind it. All right, so that is what we need. And we should have that done. And once you have that, like I said, just do your open box reconfigure, or you can do open box dash dash restart but reconfigure works just as fine. Um, if you do that and your application menu doesn't come up, the, uh, the label here will come up, but if this menu doesn't come up and you end up with an error message in the middle of your screen, you need to make a new directory uh, in user share. So just do sudo make directory user share open box and in that directory open box that we just made, we need to make a file. So we just do sudo touch user share open box menu xsd. Um, this program looks for that file. I believe it uses it as a temporary write when it brings everything up. All right. Um, you can also do a left click menu if you like a single one that you've seen in my other videos um, so this is a right click and it's all in integrated with my main right click menu for open box um, but you can actually separate it and have it as its own menu also into a left click so uh, yeah that's it enjoy your new fancy open box menu with icons and dynamic loading 